Brody Gutman, and I am mom to Laura and a uh, baby sister due in February. My name is Erin Burgraff, and I am mother to Anna, Lucas, Wesley, Rafe, and Josiah. My name is Trisha Knudsen. I am the mom to Charlie, um, to a baby that we lost um, in miscarriage, and then we're expecting again in January. My name is Wendy Olson Hadi, and I am the mother of Travis, Daniel, and Christian. My name is Cassandra Nahr, and I am the mother of three children, Stella, Tristan, and Parker. My name is Sarah Knudsen, and my husband and I are expecting our second child in January. Um, we lost our first child to miscarriage last September. It means to live outside myself and watch life through her eyes. Means being looked to for patience, wisdom, and joy, um, but never having enough of those things and always praying for more. It means joy. Um, it means agonizing it, sending those kids out into a flawed world, um, but rejoicing that God has promised to hold them tightly always. To me, being a mom is the most exciting thing in the world, yet it's the scariest thing in the world. To know that this child is depending on me for everything is, is amazing yet scary. Being a mother is such a tremendous gift and such a, such a responsibility as well. It's been such a privilege to know that the meaning of unconditional love that results from opening your heart to a child, whether it's your biological or an adopted child. Being blessed with one of the best jobs in the world. Whoever is a job with enormous responsibility, um, extremely high highs, um, sometimes lows, and times when you don't think you know what you're doing at all. Uh, however, um, not a day goes by that you don't feel extremely blessed to, um, to be called a um, mom. To be a mom to me means more than giving birth. I became a mom when we found out that we were expecting our first child, and I was still a mom when we lost our first child. Um, it means knowing and loving a soul before you can even see it. It's a huge privilege and a huge blessing. A reading from Luke chapter 1. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to the Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was, was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, and the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their throne and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary remained with her for about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> 